Top 20, Haunted Illinois. Number 20, the Mineola Hotel in Fox Lake, Illinois. This old hotel in Fox Lake has become a, an historic landmark, but it is currently condemned. It was said to be the favorite summer vacation spot for many Depression era gangsters, including Al Capone. Various sounds and orbs have been heard and seen and photographed at this old hotel. Currently, it is up for sale, but there are no buyers. Number 19, The Lodge in Antioch. The Lodge is a restaurant in Antioch said to have paranormal occurrences in the basement. It is currently unknown who is haunting the restaurant, but it is being investigated by a paranormal research team known as the Shadow Hunters. Number 18. St. Patrick's Cemetery in Libertyville. This old cemetery is surrounded by land said to be owned by a woman named Mary Worth. Mary Worth was a witch and she was killed by her neighbors after she was tied up in her barn and it was set on fire. They killed her because she was found to be holding freed slaves as kidnap victims. Number 17, Alton, Illinois. Alton has quite a bit of history of hauntings. From the Alton C City Cemetery to the Confederate Cemetery and Memorial and to the McPike Mansion. Many different apparitions and experiences have been claimed to have occurred. In the McPike Mansion, it is one of the most haunted homes in America. It is claimed that more than 11 different spirits have been experienced from the wine cellar all the way to the second floor of this building. Number 16, the Mill Theater in Elmhurst College in Elmhurst, Illinois. This theater building at Elmhurst College is said to be the site of an apparition that appears in the window perhaps of a student that died a long time ago. Number 15, Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois. This Catholic cemetery is said to have been the site of several Virgin Mary apparitions. Joe Reinholtz, who is 81 and a retired railroad worker from Westchester, was said to be have been directed to a cemetery spot where he was healed from blindness. For several years he was given instructions to come back and experience very Virgin Mary apparitions. Number 14, the Woodstock Opera House. The Woodstock Opera House in Woodstock, Illinois is the site of a resident ghost of a female actress who committed suicide by jumping out of a window after a fit of rage. A seat is reserved for her. Number 13, the Lincoln Home. The Lincoln Home in Springfield, Illinois is said to have been the, been the site of many apparitions that have been seen. Many places that Abraham Lincoln lived in or is buried at are also said to be haunted. Number 12, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Cemetery. A Catholic cemetery said to have many orbs and area, area occurrences. This cemetery is across the street from Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois. Number 11, Cahokia Mounds. This is a very large Mississippian site in Illinois, about one hour outside of Springfield, Illinois. It is said to be very haunted. The most airy part is near Mound 72, where evidence of human sacrifice in the mounds has been found. Number 10, Jane Addams House. The Jane Addams House in Chicago was the home of 
social worker Jane Adams. Jane Adams helped many immigrants, but her home is said to be the site of many apparitions and also has the story of a devil baby as well. Number nine, the Congress Hotel. This old hotel in Chicago has been said to have multiple paranormal activities on different floors. One of the most strangest experiences is on the 12th floor that has a room bolted off. Some say this is the room that an immigrant mother was in before she killed her two sons and committed suicide by jumping to her death from a window in the hotel. Number eight, the Lehman Mansion. This old mansion in Lake Villa, Illinois was built by Mr. Lehman in 1912 as a summer home for Mr. Lehman and his family. Today, it serves as a wedding venue, but it is said to be very haunted. Mr. Lehman owns several stores, but the stress of business caused him to have a nervous breakdown and he was committed. Later on, it is said that his wife was having an affair all the time and she committed him after his nervous breakdown and he is said to continue to haunt the mansion. Number seven, the Dole Mansion. This mansion was built by a wealthy grain merchant named Mr. Dole for his family as a summer home. It was later purchased by Lou Ringling, one of the widows of the Ringling brothers. She added on to the mansion. Currently, the mansion is now part of the Lakeside Arts Group, and it is rented out for art shows, and the rooms are rented out to artists. Voices, whispers, and footsteps are heard in the building when no one is there to be causing them. Number six, the gate in Libertyville. The gate is all that remains of an area near Independence Grove in Libertyville, Illinois. It is said to be the site of an old girls' school in which one of the workers went insane and killed several of the girls and put their heads on the gate. Number five, St. James Sag. This Catholic church on Archer Avenue in Lamont, Illinois is said to be haunted by monks. The stories about this church range from the ground moving up and down as if it were breathing as seen by a priest to stories of a horse and carriage traveling up the driveway to the church. Number four, Resurrection Mary. Mary is a ghost that was supposed to have died on her way home from a dance. She allegedly walks up and down Archer Avenue in Justice, Illinois, hitchhiking and occasionally taking a ride from a passing car that stops. There are variations of who Mary may be. One story goes that Mary had spent an evening dancing with her boyfriend at the O. Henry Ballroom. At some point, they got into an argument and Mary stormed out. Even though it was a cold winter's night, she thought she would rather face a cold walk home and then rather than spend another minute with her boyfriend. As she was walking down the road, she was killed and hit by, by a hit-and-run driver who fled the scene. The hit-and-run driver was never found. Number three, the Volo Auto Museum and Antique Barn in Volo, Illinois. The Volo Auto Museum and Antique Barn was built on an old dairy farm created in the 1850s. The barn remains and it was converted to an antique museum. It is said that the ghost of the son of the owners of the dairy farm who had died during the Civil War still haunts the, the barn and the grounds. His name was Henry Wallace Gale and he died of typhoid fever. I would have to agree that this place is haunted and I wrote two books about the Gale family after my investigation. Number two, White Cemetery. White Cemetery on Cuba Road in Barrington is said to be very haunted. Many photos with white orbs have been taken and mists have been seen. 
A phantom car is occasionally seen on the road. A simple look into the history of the area reveals that the Battle of Barrington took place there, and Babyface Nelson was shot in this battle, and eventually he died from those wounds. Number 1. Bachelor's Grove Cemetery This very popular cemetery near Blue Island, Illinois, is said to be the site of burial for many German immigrants. Many photos of orbs have been seen and photographed, and a famous photograph of a woman sitting on a gravestone was taken there. Thank you. <laughs>